So we may have some bad news. Damn, that was so dramatic. We ain't got that it ain't good. that bad. Um, but in the last couple of weeks, there has been speculation online about Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber. Happy Thursday to everybody except the people that was responsible for this Coachella lineup. First of all, we need to say our names. <laughs> it's TMZ Verify the Podcast. I'm wild. I'm Steph. What up, Steph? Hi. Hello. Tensions are hot. Tensions are hot today. Hi. Hi. Hot. <laughs> um, all right. So today we're going to talk about the thing that Stephanie and I have personally been waiting for yes. for weeks. Yes. The Coachella 2024 lineup. It's the biggest news in the world right now. Yes. Well, number one. Also. It's the biggest talk in the office, number two. Mm-hmm. And number three, it's all we mean you could talk about. So this is what the episode is going to be. I was going to say also the biggest disappointment. So we're going to talk about the Coachella 2024 lineup. We're also going to talk about uh, Dua Lipa. She got a new man. I see. And she was like full blown <laughs> making out with him. <laughs> Uh, also, there is uh, a little bit of speculation about Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber's relationship. We'll tell y'all why. Also, I'm wearing a button up today, and I feel I'm it's not. It's not the you vibe. You look really preppy. I no, like. I hate when I dress like. Why am I dressed like a 40 year old man? Guys, he's if y'all see drama. me in a button up, just know I didn't feel like getting dressed today. First of so. all, we wake up at 4 a.m., so when you were watching any of these episodes, keep that in mind Everything. with the outfits attire. Okay. <laughs> Everything you see was up at 4 a.m. All you. right. So we have been duped bamboozled, led astray, because that Coachella lineup is trash. Here's the thing. Garbage. Here's the thing. It's going to be Wild's first time. It is. So we should say that we both have VIP, not just tickets. We have VIP tickets to this. Okay. Here's the thing. You're going to have a great time. You're going with me. Mm-hmm. So you're going to have a great time. Okay. Um, Number two, there are some really good acts. So we should tell the people who's on the lineup. So... If you haven't heard, which you probably have just heard disappointment from everybody else, but the Coachella lineup has been released. We have three big headliners. Obviously, you know Coachella. They do a different headliner. It's a three-day festival. So Friday night has a headliner. Saturday night has a headliner. Sunday night also has a headliner. The Friday night headliner for 2024 is? Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey. All right. Great. Let's just go day by day. So we got Lana <laughs> Del Rey headlining on Friday. And I don't know if they think it's 2012 the or what. The amount of heat you're going to catch, and I would be in the comments mean too. Tell me. Lana Del Rey is a great headliner. For Coachella? Here's the thing. She brings a crowd. And at the end of the day, Coachella's just trying to bring a crowd. So what song is she going to sing? All of them. Give me one. Um, Summertime Sadness. <sighs> Goodbye. I'm already asleep. No, you're not. I'm already. <laughs> I'm already. First of all, give me another no. one. Um, I'm blue jeans. <sighs> Just uh, give me another one. There's so many. What? There's so many. Down I'm the on biggest the West Coast. The, I'm like. the biggest Lana Del Rey fan. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Also, let's talk about last year's lineup. Nothing could be worse than that. Well, true, but. We have Lana Del Rey for Friday. Then we have Peso Pluma on the undercard. Mm-hmm. We got Lil Uzi Vert. We got... Um, That'll be fun. Lil Uzi Vert to be good. We got Young Miko. We got Sabrina Carpenter. Slay. But you know who I'm like? This is a key sign that Coachella is going downhill. Why? Tanache. Why did we... Why did we call Tanache? <laughs> you know what? Was nobody else available? I love her, but you're right. Like, did we call Summer Walker? Did we call Coco Jones? What about Hell, Jack we, Harlow? Is he available? They could have called Rebecca Black. I and feel I like they should have given us the numbers. <laughs> like, to this call. is just not it. So that's there's a number of people on the undercard. But again, for Friday night, I'm not excited for it. Saturday night. This is where you lose interest for me. The headliner for Saturday night is Tyler the Creator. Absolutely not. Now, I will say. In Tyler's defense, Tyler the Creator has like a cult following, similar to like Lana Del Rey. Like right. Lana Del Rey, you like Lana Del Rey, but then I don't know a single Lana Del Rey song by name. You get what I'm saying? Like Tyler the Creator is the same way where like mm-hmm. he has this Niche. swarm of people mm-hmm. that like Tyler the Creator. But I feel like hasn't he been at Coachella like seven times? What I'm confused about is like I can't even recall one song. And not that I'm like the music expert of all experts. Right. I'm just saying in terms of popularity, how do we go from Harry Styles, Billie Eilish, and I forget who else headlined, to Lana Del Rey, Tyler, the creator, and Doja Cat. You go, if somebody put a gun in my head right now and said, name three Tyler, the creator songs. Dead. Ah! <laughs> like, <laughs> dead. Oh, so Tyler, the creator is the big headliner on Saturday night. And then we have Blur, who. Couldn't tell you. Don't know. Is it a band? Is it a person? We also have Ice Spice. So she'll come and she'll sing her three songs 
or rap her three songs. And then there's Sublime, which I'm kind of excited That's for. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for Sublime. Bleachers is on the undercard for Saturday. I'm a little excited for that. But the rest of these people couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you their name. They could be walking down the street. I wouldn't know them. Like, You'll discover new artists, though. That's the fun that's part not about my vibe. I'm never it discovering is. new you artists. You will. Mm-mm. Yeah, you will. So Trust let's, me. So let's move on to Sunday. This is where enrage fills my body. Okay. Why, who, what, where, when, how did Doja Cat become a headliner? Doja Cat is the big... Not only is she the big headliner for Sunday, like the I, Sunday night is the big night. So she it's is the, the night big... to show out and like this is it. Like we got to really go. I can't even. How am I supposed to do that? I just feel like, and this is not okay. This is me being shady, but like I feel like we got the like lower tier artists from every genre. Like we got <laughs> Lana Del Rey. Why didn't we call Dua Lipa? Like, well. Tyler, the creator. Was 21 Savage not available? I'm so confused. Drake, where are I know you're not busy. We got Doja Cat. But where the f*** is Cardi B and Nicki Minaj? I would have taken Rihanna. Meg The Stallion. I would have You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Why do we got yeah. get into it? Yeah. We haven't even talked about the best part about this entire lineup. Okay. No doubt. Is a surprise. Like. Are you excited for that? No. I was about to say, because I don't want to see Gwen Stefani old ass either. Like, I just... Also, are we going to be singing? Like, are we going to sneak in Hollaback Girl or Rich Girl? Because if not, uh, I'm I'm going to the do lab. Like, I'm out of same. here. I'm like, I don't only know. The only No Doubt song I know is... Don't sleep. Da-da-da-da-da. I don't even know what you're talking Da-da-da. about. That's a No Doubt song, right? Okay, the people in the room say yes. But, like, the other th- songs that I think are No Doubt songs are actually just Gwen Stefani songs. Saying Hollaback Girl or Rich Hollaback Girl. Hollaback Girl. And then that's it, too. You lost me. A oh, Sweet Escape. Oh, maybe she'll bring out EVE. She won't. Oh, shit. You're right. Here's the thing. I did text Wild last night videos of the... Because Wild's first time at Coachella. And it will be my first time at Coachella. I sent him videos of the do lab, and let's just say we will be frequenting there. Yeah, but I mean, for the amount of money I spent, this not given what it's supposed to be given. Am I still going? Yes. Am I going to complain? Yes. But will I be having a good ass time? You're going to have an unforgettable weekend. Oh, yes. Because, again, no lineup was worse than last year. Last year they had... Say it again. We had Bad Bunny on Friday, right? Blackpink on Saturday, okay. and then we had Frank Ocean on Sunday. And let me preface by saying Frank Ocean did not. He didn't show up. He showed up, but he didn't play music. What did he do when he got on stage? Well, I just watched a security guard dance on the big screen for a solid hour and a half, oh, if you want to describe it like and that. And they replaced him like the second weekend. Right? right. And they gave Fred again, which would be great. Why didn't Fred again headline? I don't even know who that is. So they could keep him too. No, it's like remix of hits. It's like mm, kind of still the don't DJs want that as are where though. the DJs are where it's at. But as a headliner, John Summit will be there and Dom Dalla. So I will not be complaining about this year's headliners. I mean, this year's lineup. I mean, there are a few people that I'm kind of excited. For. List them: BB Rexa on Sunday. I know pretty much every BB. Re- I mean, everyone knows every BB Rexa song. She's the most played person on the radio. Uh, no. Continue. Coyle Ray. Love. Girls are players too. Uh. All right. Victoria Monet. Put that on my mama. Oh my. Okay. Okay. She only has the one song. Okay. That's it. Okay. As I'm looking at the list, I go, that's <laughs> it. That's it. I'm not excited for anybody else on this list. I'm excited to see Gwen Stefani and, and company sing Hollaback. You're going to love John Summit. <laughs> You're going to love Dom Dalla. You're going to love Lana Del Rey. Mm-hmm. I also have a theories about this Coachella lineup. Tell me. My theory is they had somebody really big lined up and they dropped. What if- because one, we didn't get this lineup. Remember you were you were uh, losing my like losing my mind. We thought at the latest the lineup would come January 10th because mm-hmm. that's when it was dropped last year. But like typically it's around this time or a little before. Mm-hmm. Why did we not get this lined up until the 16th? Like it was given Taylor Swift signed up and then she goes, Y'all can end for me. Or well, something like something happened. There was reports that, this is a great segue into our next mm. topic, that Dua Lipa had a conflict in schedule. Which, I mean, I like Dua Lipa. I actually would have. She would have been Lipa. great as a headliner. It just seems like at some point they had people lined up and then they had to scramble around. And like, because why, why is Lana Del Rey there? She'd be there every year. Like, it's like Tyler, the creator, has also performed at Coachella multiple times. I'm pretty sure Doja Cat was there, if not last year, the year before last. She was. I'm just like, what the hell? Well, 
It's really? giving who you're going to call. And then everybody scrambled around and like started picking up artists. I would have like, waited until March if they would have put a better headliner. Honestly, same. Like, I think they just had, they probably had somebody huge lined up that dropped. And then they, they literally up. had to scramble. Because this whole lineup is giving scrambulation. Also, I would have taken the fake lineup that we got the other day yep. over this lineup. Like, give me the That's Spice true. Girls. I only know one Spice if Girls you song. Be my- we all do. But like, it's just, the lineup was just... It's a little mid. What would be your dream lineup? If I could replace, I'm going to replace all of these people in this category with appropriate people from their genre. Lana Del Rey, take her out. I'll take um, Dua Lipa. Okay. If we give in White Pop Lady. Okay. Tyler the Creator, I don't want him. I never want to see Tyler the Creator. Okay. But I will take Drake. I'll take 21 Savage. Love. I'll take Playboy Cardi. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If we're talking female, or we're talking male rappers. Doja Cat. If we're thinking about female rappers, like I said earlier, Megan. SZA. Cardi. SZA's not really a rapper. Megan. Cardi. Nikki. They could put Corey Ray up there. I would like, say Corey Ray. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a whole list and a caveat of people that I feel like they could have picked. And Coachella let us down this year. Now, like I said, I will still be there. So, I'll see y'all in the desert on April 12th. Uh, speaking of Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa got a new boo. And not only do she got a new boo, but she is not shy about showcasing her love for this new man. A PDA. Which I kind of I kind of appreciate. So I got to rewind a little bit. So a few days ago, it was a movie premiere and they were at, we, we got footage of Dua Lipa at a movie premiere. But it's not like Dua Lipa walking down the red carpet. Somebody was like secretly in the back of this arena or whatever this theater was. And it was a door that was left open. And this person is like filming through the crack in the door. But through the crack in the door, you can see Dua Lipa. Like they are kissing. Full blown making out Yay. with this unidentified man. Well, he's an actor. Well, now we know. So he's an actor. His name is um, Callum. Callum Turner. Callum Turner. He's a British actor. He wasn't in like a lot of stuff. So he was in uh, The Boys in the Boat. He was in Masters of the Air, obviously, because that's the movie premiere that him and Dua Lipa were smooching at. And he was in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, like that like series or franchise. So he's not huge. But he's established. Her last, like, confirmed, confirmed relationship was Anwar Hadid. Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid's brother. Right. And that was messy. Remember, he, like, went on his Instagram when she was spotted with another man and was, Mm -hmm. like, Instagramming. Like, how could you do that? Like, blah, blah, blah. The whole drama. But this is going to be interesting because she has a new album coming out. I'm not really looking for. I'm not like patiently wait and patiently waiting for the Dua Lipa album. You're not? No. I think it's going to be really good. She has hit after hit after hit. She is definitely like the the pop. Right. So Dua Lipa and her new man, Calum, they were spotted out. We got them out on Tuesday night. They were getting sushi in L.A. And like, I think this is the real deal, a real deal relationship because they were like full blown making out. First of all, you only go to Sushi Park if you want people to see you. That's true. If you're not in L.A., Sushi Park is like, I'm trying to think of like an East Coast equivalent. It's like going Carbone. to... Carbone. You don't go to Carbone yes. unless you want to be seen. Unless you want people to see. And the thing with the PDA in this little, I don't know if it was like a closet situation. It mm-hmm. looked like a secret room. Like the like you said, the door was like a jar. You could see right. a little sliver of them. But if you're going to an event and you're making out, think about the last time you really heavily made out in public. You know someone, and you're not even like, we're not Right, famous. but you know someone. You watching. know someone's watching, mm-hmm. even when you're a nobody, right? Right, right. But when you're Dua Lipa and Callum, mm-hmm. you know that someone's going to watch. Yeah, I kind of love it though. I kind of love it too. But it was definitely like a public display of our love. It was like let's date. Yeah, who was I'm like who was the last person that we got at sushi? Remember when Kylie and Kylie and Jordan's big reunification happened yes. at Sushi Park? Like you only go to Sushi Park to be seen. To be seen. More of what the story is. They're together. Clearly PDA. Clearly yes. confident. Clearly not keeping it. It's not giving situationship secret. No, no, this is a full blown relationship. I like it though. So. We may have some bad news. Damn, that was so dramatic. We ain't got, it ain't that bad. Um, But there have been, the last couple of weeks, there has been speculation online about Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber. And a lot of people think that they might have split. So let me tell you what happened. So first of all, Hailey Bieber spent New Year's Eve with Kendall Jenner. So immediately fans were like, where the hell is Justin? Are you guys broken up? Why aren't y'all spending a major holiday together? And then Haley this week took to Instagram and she made this like super cryptic post. She said, 
The biggest reason why I just really shouldn't give a fuck what anyone has to say is because I truly make the most insane cinnamon rolls I've ever had. And I know what you're thinking. Like, what? Huh? But it's also like, what? You get what I'm saying? Like, Why would you post that? Why would? Here's the thing about Haley. Here's the thing about Selena. And I'm throwing Selena in because when I think Haley, at this rate, Haley's career is tied to Selena's at this Without point. Without a doubt. You know what I mean? It's Without a trio. A doubt. Justin yes. hit Selena Haley. It ah! won't, they they would have not like that if you said and that. It's still, I know, but it's true, right? <laughs> Whenever Haley posts something, we're always connecting it to, actually, to note, Whenever Justin posts a photo of Haley, it's a meme on TikTok. It's a meme on Reddit, mm. like everywhere where it's like, is Haley putting a gun to Justin's head, having him post this? Have That's the like <laughs> joke, right? But if she's posting this, she knows people are going to run with it. Mm-hmm. Is she one? My question to you is, is she one running to like, so we talk about it? Because when have we talked about her last? Road Beauty hasn't come out with a launch in a while. Well, a few weeks ago when she was out with Kendall. But in terms of ju- Justin, right, 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 yeah, no, we're not. Her, we haven't not talked about their relationship without a while. doubt. But her attachment to fame is only through Justin, right? So, so she's like, "Let me post this on Instagram." Her publicist is like, "You got to do a crypto post, girl. You got to do it tonight." And, or is it her actually venting on social media because she's just so pissed with her man? I think it's. Um, I think it's the second thing. I feel like for whatever reason she wanted to post it, she wanted to stir up some type of like drama controversy because you can look at it two ways, like. Some people online are being like, oh, maybe her and Justin split up. But other people online are like, maybe this is a shot at Selena Gomez. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like. But I I disagree because she knows every, she could post a selfie with a peace sign and people are going to somehow link it to something deeper, whether it's Justin or Selena. I think her posting this is like crazy. It's a a sure shot that people are going to talk about it and think something's wrong. And then also sources closer to the couple have been like, Allegedly sharing tidbits about their relationship. For example, one source told Radar Online that Justin acts like a needy kid all the time. And he's constantly and that Haley is constantly having to, to apologize for him and trying to get him to act like an adult. So with this, they're, what they're saying is that there's like an alleged uh, alleged rift between the two of them because of Justin's childish manner. First of all, you know, you're, you know you're marrying Justin Bieber, right? And he's been acting like a child since he's been a child. Since he like, was on YouTube. Yep, literally still been immature. He's great, but that's just what, when you think you're marrying Justin, you're not going to get like a perfect, Yeah. he's a celebrity. So what do you think? Do you think Justin and Haley are on the rocks, splitting? I think that whenever she posts something, this is what I'm going to say. Whenever she posts something, she knows, everyone knows that people are going to make spectacle of something. Right. So she's hinting at something. She's not posting it just willy-nilly. Right, right. She's posting it for a reason, whether it's for us to talk about her or whether for us to have a little tidbit that something's on the rocks. Mm -hmm. She's posting it for a reason. It's not like us when we're posting like a Instagram story. This is on purpose. Uh, Yeah, I think ultimately I don't think. I think that there could be some trouble because anytime and this is just me being a man and this is probably just me being making a stupid remark, but like. Anytime there's drama, women always like post post those like cryptic 100%. like I can do better. A song. I deserve better. Mm-hmm. A quote. I'm too good for this. A sexy selfie. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all when, when there's no drama going on, you see nothing. But when there's even a little bit of drama, I know. Yeah, girl, gonna take I, it to I'm the even internet. The letter right know. now, and I do that. You go- <laughs> like I, I want to be like, oh no, you know, you're wrong. Like, right, you're but it's so like so right. Yeah. Also. It kind of, I'm going to be shady. Okay. It kind of seems whenever Selena's happy because she's with Benny Blanco now and she is over the moon happy. Yes. Justin and her are kind of on the rocks. Justin and Haley? Sorry, Justin and Haley are kind of on the rocks. I can see that. I can see that. Because the whole saga is like, is Justin still in I know you're I was about to say, the bottom line I think what we're getting to is. Is Justin still in love with Selena? I can't believe we're still having this conversation after they've been married for five years. But that's what people are speculating, not us. I do think they're in love. I do think Justin and Selena. See? Justin and Haley. Justin and Haley are for real. Obviously, they're in love. They're married. Everything's great. And and Selena's with Benny. Like, it's not a deal. Right, you know, she looks really happy with Benny Blanco. But the internet always thinks there's something going on with Justin and Selena. They could be buried underground and like... Together. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be like, oh, they're do- still together. Um, Yeah, I don't really know where this will go. I'm hoping that they're not broken up, though. I kind of like Justin and Haley. I do, too. I think she keeps him, like, under wraps. Normal. Yeah. Like, calm the fuck down. Because one thing about Selena, too, 
She's with the shits. She goes off on social media. They'll be in the house acting a fool together. We just talked about this when she was like posting about Benny on her Instagram. So you can't have two, I was going to say crazy, but two like strong personalities. Haley keeps Justin Stane. Um, One more thing that we didn't actually talk about or we didn't have on our list to talk about. Our girl Ariana Grande last week, she released. (laughs) Oh my God. God, I wanted to talk about this. Yeah, we didn't talk about this because we filmed, you know, before Friday. So Ariana Grande on Friday released her latest single. It's yes, called Yes and. and. And she addressed And like, we have things to say about it. She addressed the the speculation and the drama and the hate that she's been getting in her relationship with Ethan Slater. And she basically said, like, what's mine is mine. Why, Why do, do you care, care about the penis? I ride. I ride. First of all, we go, first of all, he lives in a pineapple under the sea. (laughs) But like, clearly she's happy with him, though. To make a song like this uh, is crazy. It wasn't like it was a little gross, though. But it's getting there serious because you would not say why do you. She's serious about everybody she dates for six months. It's every cycle. She's like, I am in love forever. And then it's like they're broken up. I just feel like it's uh, Ariana Grande. She make it so hard for me to defend her every I week. I love her still. I don't really be defending her. I be giving her shit. But like internally, I struggle with this because I love Ariana Grande. I love Ariana Grande music. But like, sis. Do you think you that. Can't, she can't lean into this. She is. Yes, and. She's laying in that. Sh- yes, she, and. She's, <laughs> she's so in it. It's cement at this point. She no, goes, yes, and is the title. Okay. Then she literally says. Why do you care who's blank I ride? First of all, implying that like, mm, I'm talking about the cheating. I'm talking about the whole thing. Do you think it's bad that, okay, I have a question. Okay. If a couple gets together out of cheating, are they meant to be? Is it a good idea? Maybe they are true, true love. Mm. Lovers. Can you find your soulmate through a cheating relationship? No, I like to believe how you get them is how you lose them. And I, I think agree. that the people who stay together for long periods of time, they just know they got to stay together. Like, they like, we can't we can't fucking break up now because I ruined my household, you ruined your household. And we, we got a fool. If y'all look crazy. Now. Exactly. I, yeah. think that, mm-hmm, I think that a lot of times, because how do you really trust somebody? Who, you can't. And, and remember, we should say, like, there was allegedly no overlap between right. Ariana and Ethan's relationship and then Ethan and his estranged wife and Ariana and Dalton, her estranged husband. And we're talking about... Allegedly no overlap. And we're talking about the internet, what the internet thinks, right. regardless of like all these claims of what the timeline was. Right, right. People, when they are hearing this song, think it's about the cheating and think it's about Ethan Slater. Even though it's been confirmed or like rumored that it has no crossover, people right. don't care. Ethan Slater, you had a baby and a wife, and now you don't. And now you're with Ariana Grande. And now you're- the math is not mathing. That's what people are saying. I think her doing this song was her being like, I'm done with you guys. I don't care what you guys think. I'm me. And you're still going to listen to the song because I'm me. Yeah, but are we really listening to the song? Like, give me a, <laughs> give me an honest review. Out of 10. In the zeitgeist of Ariana Grande songs, what would you give the song? I'm a big Ariana Grande fan. Right. Five. I was going to say six. It just sounds like an album track. It, it doesn't sound like a like single. She went in the studio, and again, I love her, but it sounds like she went into the studio and went, let me write a song about Ethan really quick to get people off my back. To, yeah, yeah, like it isn't an Ariana Grande mm-hmm. song. I don't like the like throwback 80s, 90s vibe. It's Madonna Vogue Madonna, vibe. Paula Abdul-esque. Like, nah. Honestly, go back to Black Ariana. Do you remember Black Ariana? Uh, her era. Seven Rings. <laughs> I do. I just think that this whole cheating scandal, though, if they... Is it out of convenience that she's with Ethan? Because they are filming that movie. They are filming Wicked, which it will be releasing this year. Ish. Ariana New Music will probably come this year. About album. their breakup? Because there's no way they date after this. You don't think? There's no way they date after this movie. It's just giving, like, convenience. Like, I'm over here. I need. She does have, like. Convenient dating chapters in her life, right? Like, Which we st- thank you. Next, she really has owned it. She's like, listen, I do this, and we are like the champions of young people should not be married. I agree, be living it up, screw a lot of people. Like we agree, but it's the the situation she keeps finding herself in don't seem to be that like. Also, tell us, be like, hey, don't worry, I'm dumping his ass in six months. Ah! 
<laughs> we will literally stand you. We will okay, like, we get it. Right, right. We got it. Like that's great. Right, okay, perfect. Right. Yes, you ruined a marriage, or yes, there was a weird crossover. Uh, allegedly, <laughs> but he could go. You're gonna be done with this in six months. <laughs> I under. I really appreciate that. Get on IG Live, five minutes. Hey guys. I'm coming out the song. I'm just really annoyed that you guys are putting this on me, but I'm not going to be with this guy in six months. <sighs> Claps. Clap. Also, why the hell didn't Coachella call Ariana Grande? She already headlined. Ariana headlined? Mm -hmm. Run it back. We already got Tyler the Creator and Lana <laughs> Del Rey. I mean, we just recycled. Well, at that people. point, throw Easton Slater on. What are you going to sing? Oh, there's one of pineapple. Like, what people are going nuts for that, kind of. I would kind of love that. And where the. What do you think Lily Jade thinks of this song? Lily Jade being his ex wife. Ethan is a strange wife? Yes. With the child. Emphasis on the child. I'm cracking up at you sliding in with the child. Uh, she's, she's already said Ariana's not a girl's girl. So I think she knows she already has her mind made up about Ariana. First of all, if you make me have a child or I want to have a child and then you leave me and then I have to, first of all, that's fine. Right. You leave me. I have to go to the grocery store and now hear this song. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have one more question and we got to get out of here. Is there anybody who like, oh, if if this person steals my man, I'm like, I could I can understand that. Is there any celebrity where you like, you know, all of them? If they, I was about to say honestly, what am I gonna do? I say that all the time. Come like, on, like <laughs> me. Like if I was Lily uh, J, when me at Team Z versus a celeb, like he's obviously he's, gonna leave. Yeah, like, and I would hope. I, I mean, hope he would because if it came for me and the opportunity, oh, I'm would, leaving. Oh my god! Unless it's like true, 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 true love. Which the odds of that, which we both know, is a zero. So you leave your man if... Uh, Who's hot and young? Jake, Jack Harlow. Jack uh, Harlow. Uh, mm -mm. He's not your type. Mm -mm. I know. I got to get... Who's like... Uh, yeah, it's kind of your vibe. Justin Bieber. Everybody like Yeah, Justin yeah, yeah. Bieber. Justin Bieber pull up on you and he'd be like, yo. yo I'd be like, we really got to go to therapy, but I'm in. You leaving whoever you with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless it's like true love, which we've talked about many times in the podcast, isn't right. the case. Do you think, doesn't exist. Do you think Ethan Slater and Ariana Grande are in real, real love? Answer that honestly. I think they're in real, real like. Do you think they are in real, real love? No, I don't think you can be in love with any real, real love in less than a year. Okay. Like, come on, be So, real. the song, Why Do You Care Whose Dick I Ride? I believe that. I'm not. <laughs> it's like, why would you do this unless you're going to marry the guy? Don't right, give him a right. song. I feel that. All right. thought I'd end up with Sean, but it wasn't a match. Or some songs about Ricky and how Ricky catch a stray. Well, she said actually in one interview that she was being nice about Ricky. She could have said, she never did, Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was like, she could have said, never mind, he's trash. Yeah, well, shout out to Ricky. Shout out to Ari because she just does not care. Okay, well, should we get out of here? Yeah. We're going to be uh, at Coachella. <laughs> I was about to say, we'll be spending the next couple of days still complaining about Coachella. Mm -hmm. um, but while you're listening, be sure to like. Follow, subscribe to the podcast, and rate us on like Apple Music and Spotify or Apple Music, Apple Podcasts and Spotify or Pandora, whatever you listen to podcasts. Because when you rate us, we get shown to more people. Mm -hmm. So then more people can listen and hate us. No, I'm just. <laughs> Here's a comment prompt comment your dream headline, like headliners. Okay. I like that. Weekend headliners. We, and we do read the comments. We do. So even if they're mean. Thanks. We should do a mean comment segment where we just... I just don't really feel like blowing my self-esteem. Anyway. Ah, okay. We're going to get out of here. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.